Hey, what is up, guys? Bonfiggy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a 45 to 2, 6 v 6 TDM gameplay. It's pretty fast as well. I think it was like three and a half minutes. But yeah, I actually died one off of the double TDM mob, and I pretty much saved my team. A lot of them ended up going negative, but the thing is, it was actually a Modern Warfare 3 PC free weekend, and when there's a free weekend on PC, a lot of the console players come over on the PC and just try it out a little bit, and most of the time they're not very familiar with PC gaming, you know, mouse and keyboard, or they don't have the best gaming equipment, so a lot of the times they're really bad, so I ended up slaying the enemy team and saving my team as well, objective-wise, so we won the game. But yeah, I thought it was a really good game. I actually died one off of the double TDM mob, which is really unfortunate. I think that would have been either the second or third solo TDM double mob on YouTube, so that would have been really impressive, but either way, I'm happy with the gameplay that I got. Thought I might share with you guys. And when I play the TDM, I like to kind of circle the map, at least on the map dome, and just kind of catch the enemies as they spawn. Just keep on running around in their spawns. Circle the map because the majority of the time, they'll just keep on moving from one spawn to the next. So it worked out really well for me. I just want to mention that real quick. But today, I wanted to be talking about PC versus console. And a lot of my new subscribers that I've been getting since I've been uploading a lot of PC gameplays think that I'm mainly a PC player. And that's actually not the case, in case you guys didn't know. I mainly play a lot of Xbox, but in case you guys didn't know, my Xbox capture card is actually broken right now. So I've had to use Fraps to record my PC gameplay. And I haven't been able to post up much Xbox gameplay, only when people are willing to record a game for me. But yeah, I wanted to talk about PC versus console, and some of the main differences, at least for PC, there's a much smaller community, so it's sometimes harder to get into lobbies, and if you get into one lobby, it's usually if you back out, you keep on getting the same exact one, which can be very frustrating if there's a hacker on the enemy team, you know, keep on joining back onto that. There's the first mall, by the way, that was 110 seconds, and yeah, one of the things that I really don't like about PC, and this is... One of the major negatives of PC, there's a lot of hackers and a lot of the times they can join in the game after you own some noobs or whatever. You can get into one of those really good lobbies, start doing really good and then, you know, one of them will back out and then a hacker will join and slay you, shoot you through a wall, something like that. And that's one of the major flaws of PC right now. I think once Black Ops 2 comes out, they'll be able to fix that because they're actually having a main developing team specifically for PC. And I think we're going to have dedicated servers as well, so the connection should be very good. But yeah, one of the main differences for PC, the graphics are actually a lot better. You can play on much higher dedicated graphics, I guess you could say. You get a lot higher FPS is what I'm trying to say here. So it's just a lot smoother game, and it just makes for a better gaming experience, I guess you could say. And then I really like mouse and keyboard. I actually didn't like it at the beginning because I was terrible with the mouse. I was so inaccurate. But now after playing for three or four months, I'm a lot more accurate. I'm actually more accurate with the mouse than I am on Xbox with a controller. So that's one of the things I really like. And I just feel that you can do a lot more with mouse and keyboard. There's definitely a lot more strafing techniques that you can do. You can do some drop shotting, crouch shotting. I know you can do that on Xbox too. It's just a little bit easier for me anyways with mouse and keyboard. And then they also have this thing called Field of View Changer where it kind of just extends your gun outwards a little bit. I really like the look of it. And it also makes you feel like a jet engine. You're just running super fast like Usain Bolt. That's one of the things I really like. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Free weekend noobs are always really good. I got a ton of really great gameplays over the weekend because it was actually a free weekend for Modern Warfare 3. All the people could download it. And a lot of them, they usually don't have the best gaming equipment or they're not used to mouse and keyboard. So you can usually slay them quite a bit. So look forward to some really good PC gameplays. And once my capture card for Xbox come, look forward to some really good Xbox gameplays that I got saved up but that's pretty much it for the gameplay guys right up here i die one off of the double tdm mob which is really unfortunate but either way i hope you guys enjoyed please leave the video a like if you did and subscribe if you're new i'm out peace